What's up everybody, Arshur here, it's a new video. Today we're going to take a look at vector 3 dot distance. And uh, what it do, what it does is just it calculates the distance between two positions. So if I have an object and another object, object and I want to calculate the position between these two objects just use vector 3 dot distance and we can use it in many cases and at the end of this video I'm gonna explain how to use it in a real game a real example which uh, is very useful so let's get it started let's uh, make a new C sharp script and open it up in Visual Studio now the syntax of um, of this function is just vector3 dot distance and you have to give it two values right here vector3 and another another vector3 you have to give it two positions so let's get our transforms public transform t1 and public transform t2 and now uh, we have to make this one t1 dot position this one t2 dot position this will return a value which is the distance between uh, those two positions so now to use this value you have to you have to do anything with this value I'm gonna just print it out debug dot log this value okay so now we have to assign our variables and assign our script to any object and the scene in order to make it work so just assign it to cube one as example our cube and now we have t1 which is any cube and t2 which is the the other cube and now let's play the game and look to our console so if we looked here it's 5.9 if we moved our objects the distance uh, will be different each time you move your objects so this is the function and how it works uh, if we if we reset the position of each one of those uh, objects in order to make them at the same place the distance between them will be zero because they are in the same place Okay very simple and if we made that one it will be one because the distance now be between this position and this position is one so yeah so the distance between this position and this position is one so now um, let's just uh, make a practical uh, benefit usage from this function now I have an example we have uh, a player and an enemy okay so a player and an enemy and if the enemy was uh, close enough to attack the player just make him attack the player very easy so now this is our enemy and this is our player and let's make it happen here we just have to say if if the distance between the the player and the enemy was less than uh, two or equal to two now the enemy can attack the player it's very easy so if vector three the distance between the player and the enemy T2 the position if this was um, less than or equal to 2 now just debug dot log attack very easy so now if we join our game if we just press play and now 
let's just move our, our enemy towards our player so now the enemy is close enough so he is printing out attack if we take him uh, um, away from the player and now he is not printing anything so if he is close enough to attack he will attack the player and you can uh, <coughs> you can make any distance you want to or one as um, as you see as you can um, see so now he is attacking now he is not attacking and instead of using attack you can use your own functionality you can just make an animation run you can make this uh, a real enemy you can make him uh, a real enemy and this is a real player and when the enemy uh, come closer to the player you can do several things you can make the animation run of the attack you can uh, decrease the health of the player of the player and you can do several things but this is just um, the example is just about how to use victor 3 to distance not about everything else so yeah this is the video thanks guys for watching if you did enjoy um, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here and yeah, peace out.